testing, testing, one, two, three, testing, testing. So for January 2021, we're all looking forward to having this horrendous 2020 year end, but we have all been such troopers to hanging in there and being brave, being there for other people, being there for each other. And I just wanted to congratulate. I'm so proud of the human race right now. Of course, some of the human human beings on this planet are appear to be lost or bought out or are uh, are having some problems, you know, in 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 looking at a a bigger picture, uh, a wider picture of what's a deeper picture of what's going on in the world and and what's going on inside of themselves. Um, I hope that humankind can start awakening to the fact that we have been programmed, socially programmed for many, many centuries, really. But uh, especially with the new technologies that have come out in the last, you know, 30, 40 years, uh, and primarily in the last 10, 20 years. So uh, this technology has uh, become more sophisticated and sneakier in the way it has uh, just infiltrated our personal lives and uh, we have been spied on, we've been manipulated. Um, a lot of people who don't see through it have been brainwashed. So uh, it concerns me greatly. But in my work, I have seen that when you elevate the vibrational frequencies of how your molecules in your body, your multiple trillions of biological processes that go on every moment that you're alive, uh, all of that is is energy infused. I mean, we take in foods that are that provide us energy, and the healthier your food is, the higher the vibrational frequencies, the light energy frequencies that are stored in plants, plants that absorb energy from the sun and convert them to nutrients. Uh, when you when they take up the nutrients out of the soil, they uh, they store those nutrients for us for living things to, as part of the whole web of life, the cycle of life. So we, as part of this intricate ecosystem that we are a part of, we cannot, uh, we cannot uh, separate ourselves from it because we are in it and we are interacting with it and affecting it. So in my work, I have found that when people take in the biologically correct substances from their foods, foods that have been grown in nutrient-rich environments and uh, animals who have raised, who've been raised humanely in, in uh, uh, balanced ecosystems as well. They are part of the whole ecosystem you know, on a farm, for instance. Uh, I mean, you can go beyond organic and raise food uh, in a permaculture setting or a regenerative setting. And so these types of uh, these types of food production methodologies are what we need to uh, expand on. So, uh, yeah, a few years ago, you could look online and look for a permaculture, you know, homesteader or urban farmer, and they were few and far between, but suddenly there was this, like, explosion of people who were trying out the permaculture methods in their backyards or on their smaller properties, their, their smaller farms, and so they discovered that you can produce more food and be have it be more nutrient dense, and uh, produce a, a create a whole environment where animals can thrive in, and uh, it's like creating your own private Garden of Eden kind of thing. So this is really exciting, and more and more people are doing this. So this has been expanding. Other companies are starting to realize that they cannot keep contributing to the harm of humanity and all living things and this planet. So uh, we all have to work together to to balance this ecosystem once more and um, make sure that Gaia, our home, our Mother Earth, is able to regenerate herself and uh, continue to provide the abundance that, um, that we all need. So uh, please, uh, for 2021, I'll be, I'm going to, uh, upload as many of the videos I've been producing for YouTube into my online school, the True Health Mastery Academy. And there will be a membership offer, so anyone who wants to stay in the know as far as how to optimally 
maximize your health, your, your optimal health vibrancy, and to prevent you from succumbing, from becoming a victim of the system to the degenerative disease process that 75% of the population still suffers from today. So my mission is to educate people as to how their body works at the micro cell level. So it's all about cellular nutrition because that's where health starts and that's where um, where everything begins and that's where everything changes. So preserving our genetic code of life in our DNA inside every one of our trillions of cells is should be the optimal focus of managing your health. So it all begins there. If you give your bodies substances that are absolutely foreign to your cells' ability to read the molecular data that arrives at the cell membrane sites, so once you digest your foods and the nutrients are broken down to their basic components and are distributed in the bloodstream and arriving at these cell sites all over your body's systems. So this is what you need to focus on, is providing your body with the right uh, materials, and uh, that means organic, uh, organic foods and foods that have been, uh, you know, processed, have, have not been processed. So if you take in processed foods, then you are eating altered molecules of those original foods and your body has trouble uh, utilizing those molecules because your real food, your raw enzyme active, energy active, you know, light energy uh, stored foods are what your body needs to thrive. Okay, so the focus is for me to uh, teach as many people as possible my time-proven system and uh, the True Health Mastery System includes my 30-year-old um, and always improving nutritional synergy system, learning how to put together the right types of foods and the right types of supplements. I've spent 40 years examining and studying uh, nutrients in supplements. I've seen the industry evolve and change and uh, for the better. So more and more companies are producing uh, whole food supplements that are, are, are functional and efficacious. So I will be teaching all of the above in the True Health Mastery Academy accumulation of courses. Right now you can go to my YouTube channel, Mary Esther Gilbert. Just type that into the search box and you'll see my channel up there. Um, I have accumulated an array of, of supplements that I pull from whenever someone comes to me with uh, wanting to know how to heal themselves uh, using nutritional healing. So um, that, that area of expertise has been stifled from many entities that would rather maintain a sick population than, than have a healthful population. So there's actually been a kind of a spiritual battle going on between those two factions. But, uh, you know, the light always lights up the darkness. No matter how hard the darkness tries to stifle light, light will always emerge. Truth emerges. Uh, so I've been all about the truth, about how to heal the body and how to provide it with what it truly needs to, to maintain itself and to thrive uh, indefinitely, you know, uh, the body's actually programmed to live 120 years old and so, um, and still be active, right? And still have your presence of mind and, and still have your intelligence and, and uh, your cognizance uh, and, and your physical abilities intact. So um, I'm about half, I'm a little over halfway there. So uh, I still, uh, I'm a, my own personal testimony. I've applied everything that I've learned over the years to myself and I have a, a whole lot of people, countless clients and uh, you know people that I know and all these years they have been applying those, those uh, true health tenets, those principles that I outline in my system. So I invite you to focus on going inward, first of all to, to heal and restore optimal functioning to all of your body systems if you're suffering and if you are already generally healthy to to maximize that to optimize your own uh, potential your own health potential and therefore you'd be surprised how people discover their more authentic selves their higher selves they go on to make profound life changes their abilities to um, 
to think and, and focus and, and their perspectives. Everything changes when a person becomes optimally helpful. And so my system has shown that over and over again through the years. I'm really, really uh, hopeful that more and more people will optimize their health and uh, be able to uh, become their higher selves and, and achieve so much more uh, while they stay here with their stay here on this planet while we're here. So, uh, and also, um, this is also affecting the, what they call the Schumann resident resonance on earth, where they're able to measure the, uh, the positive energy forces that contribute to a higher consciousness on the planet. So this is real science. It's not woo woo. Um, you know, there is so much science that has been stifled and kept from us on this planet. So more and more of this truth is, is becoming more apparent. People are, are waking up to it and more and more love and, and uh, peace is overriding a lot of the evil, corruption, um, the deceptions that have been going on on this planet for way too long. So, uh, you know, there is a spiritual battle going on. So uh, we want to overcome all of the negative forces that have been holding us down as, as a, a species, as a human race on the planet. So uh, this is, uh, it gets very complex. I could have gone off on all kinds of tangents on, on everything I said today, but it's all being put into my courses and the videos that I'm producing. Uh, it's slow going right now because uh, I'm wearing all the hats in my business. So uh, everything from the custodian all the way to the chief executive officer and everything in between, which is the consultant and the, uh, the writer and the researcher. So uh, I'm putting together monographs, building a scientific database on monographs and phytonutrients, all the wonderful nutrient factors that keep us well and to heal us when we're sick, uh, that, that reverse the disease process. Uh, this is all being stifled from you. And I have been working quietly, just healing my clients and, and uh, teaching others how to, uh, to gain their optimal health vibrancy. And I've been seeing the results. They have been the beacons of light that have gone out and helping to change the world and becoming, helping humanity to become optimally healthy. And not just physically, but also mentally, emotionally, psychologically, and spiritually. And this is very, very important right now. I need you to be at your optimal health. And that's just not just I. <laughs> I because it's my personal mission to to uh, to awaken humanity through their optimal physical health vibrancy, which is all tied into their their spirituality as well and uh, their mental capacity and their creativity. Everything just comes together when your body is vibrating at a frequency that matches the resonance of the planet and also the universe. So we are all tied into this universal force as one. Uh, I can speak of this in terms of uh, spirituality or um, it also has been um, a lot of the scientific uh, research has been exploring these kinds of things for decades now. So I can also talk to you in terms of scientific proof, scientific uh, studies and, and experiments that have been ongoing proving and uh, showing us that we are truly greater than we ever dreamed, that there's so much more to humanity, so much more to us, so much more to you as an individual, that uh, uh, it would be a real tragic if humankind didn't awaken to their full possibilities, their full capacities as human beings. So think of the world um, as as euphoric and, and as wonderful and beautiful as you possibly can because uh, thoughts are vibrational frequencies and we can tap into that universal field that physics call the mind of God. So we are part of it. We are part of it. So, um, you know, truly try to tap into your optimal health and your, your full capacity as a, an amazing human being that you are. Okay, so... Um, have a great rest of the year, and don't worry, we are in control because we are loving uh, light energy beings. We're 97% light energy, 1% or 1% to 3% particle matter. So we have the ability to interact with the field of energy that is a conscious energy. And we are able to create and manifest 
everything that we desire, but we have to align ourselves. We have to make sure that our bodies are uh, vibrating at a light energy frequency that, that makes it much more uh, accessible to us. So people who are sick vibrate at a lower frequency than those who are optimally healthful. Okay, so this is our, uh, our goal as a species to not allow us to tragically become um, extinct. We are heading that way and the whole planet is in danger. So we first have to clear up our inner biological terrains, our inner ecology, and by those very choices, by extension, we make choices that are good for the planet and good for each other. So love and light, peace and joy throughout these holidays and manifest goodwill and peace on earth and uh, love each other the way you would want to love yourself. And so I will see you soon. Thank you for tuning in and uh, I'll see you in 2021. Thank you.